Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In my previous build videos, I highlighted two primary builds. One was a PvE build that has focused on Bottom Tree Night Stalker and constantly recharging Merlee and reducing your cooldowns. I also highlighted a PvP build that was built around Top Tree Night Stalker and the ability to constantly remain invisible. In this video, I will be talking about changes that came in Season of the Dawn that will allow you to further build up on this PvP build with some options that you can use depending on your playstyle. I will go over some of my initial thoughts on how Season of the Dawn supports these builds first, and then later in the video I will go over various options on how you can customize this build to your playstyle. If you find this video valuable, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video as it really helps me out. One of the most exciting additions to Season of the Dawn, for the Hunter specifically, is allowing mobility to reduce your class ability. So by maxing out your mobility, you can get your dodge in around 10 seconds. And again, the great thing about this for the Hunter is that with mobility, it just naturally goes into what is great about your class. If you dodge, again, which you get within 10 seconds, you can gain invisibility as well as reloading your smoke grenade. So you gain all the benefits as well as becoming extremely agile and fast, which is great for an aggressive hunter build. In addition with Season of Dawn, there's a, a mod called Powerful Friends, which has other advantages, but one thing you may not have noticed is that if you place this mod within arc-based armor with another arc mod within armor, you get plus 20 to your mobility. So why is this good? Well, if you can get all arc armor from Season of Dawn and spec it with one of these, you can essentially max out your mobility with minimal mod sockets and cost. This also frees you up to then find the perfect set of armor that has low mobility, but has high resilience or high recovery to max out all of your armor sets. Now another change in Season of Dawn was improvements to target acquisition for sidearms. Again, this reminds me of Destiny 1 where I used to use things like Vesti and Destiny, and that was a great complement to scout rifles. I used to use that in a lot of builds. It may not sound exciting, but in practice, this allows sidearms to be deadly at mid or close range. Great about sidearms for hunters specifically is it's very forgiving of the constant movement you need to do in a hunter build with a quick rate of fire and now increased accuracy. SMGs and shotguns are also things you can use for that, but one of the problems, shotguns, I'm just not particularly good at shotguns, I can use shotguns, but they require a lot of accuracy uh, for the most part. SMGs, while they can be they can be utilized they still require a little bit of stability for a period of time to do aiming with sidearms it's a lot less forgiving which is useful for a build like this specifically for my build i have a last hope that drop of rangefinder tap the trigger and range masterwork that and it is very deadly and crucible i can effectively counter shotguns and smgs at close range and reduce time to kill in Destiny Run, I ran some pretty aggressive hunter builds, primarily focused around the short game of the sidearm, the long game of Scout Rifle, specifically usually Mida, and the hunter's ability to blink. In Destiny 2, I've never found an easy way to replicate this because I suck at shotguns and other weapons that require you to be a lot less mobile if you want to land shots. With the all-in on mobility in this season and the return of prominence of the forgiving sidearm, I'm loving this playstyle again. It's been really great. And I'll show that with some of the play gameplay I'm going to show in this video. With these two small tweaks in Season of the Dawn, builds that were complementary and supportive of PvP teammates now become more aggressive hunter builds. Where last season felt like Season of the Titan, and again for you Titan mains, I'm not hating on you, I spent a good amount of time using Titans last season. This season can easily be Season of the Aggressive Hunter in PvP if you plan your builds out right. Now, with this build, there's a ton of options for customization, and that's why I didn't specifically just say, hey, you know, sometimes in videos I say, hey, this is the right way to build this one out. I actually want to kind of talk through different options because, again, there are a lot of things that are complementary to your dodge ability. You can add Void Battery that provides an overshield when you dodge. Again, this is a mod that costs five, but it's something I think is very useful. This builds in well with the constant dodging of this build. Again, as you dodge, you'll get an overshield. You can add the traction mod, which allows you to add additional mobility and tighter control when sprinting. Again, builds on the mobility in this build. You can add six coyote to this build, which allows you to gain two dodge charge, which allows you to basically constantly go invisible. And again, if you're using void ba battery, you can get an overshield. This is my favorite portion of this build, but again, there's different options, depends on what you like to do. You can use worm husk crown. This will take away a charge that you got for six coyote, but it'll, it'll give you the ability to recharge your health during a judge. Again, that can get you out of trouble a lot of times. You can add Gemini Jester. This will allow you to eliminate radar and confuse enemies when you dodge. 
This is great if you want an overly aggressive build where you jump right in the middle of the action. This also allows you to help not yourself, only yourself, but your teammates basically in a reduced lives mode, let's say like elimination of survival, that could be key where you could be looking to kind of take some enemies out, kind of basically do a comeback. If you can do this, even if you die, it's something that can really help your teammates out. You can always use stompies in this build. Again, that really builds them ability faster. That allows you to do better jumping and moving around the map. This is especially good with the sidearm build because one of the things you can really do with the hunter now is if you have someone coming at you really aggressively, you can jump over them using your sidearm. I love to do this either with shotgun shotgunners or for Titans. I had this one Titan in a match that was just basically the, the first thing he would do in every match is he would just charge in at you trying to get your soldier charge and I would just jump over him every time and hit with my sidearm. So again, Stompies is, is really helpful for that. You can add Graviton Forfeit which increases the length of your invisibility. So again, that's something where you can build on some of the things you're doing already. You can use Dragon Shadow, which allows you to dodge, to reload all your weapons, and increase movement and weapon handling for a period of time. So again, if you're in a tight spot, if you run out ammo, allows you to kind of do that and shoot a little bit quicker. You could use Frosties. Again, that will allow you to increase your grenade melee and dodge regeneration while sprinting and dodges increases your sprint speed. So again, you see how this kind of build on each other. You're running all over the place. You're kind of getting your abilities back. You dodge, increase your sprint speed, which allows you to get out of trouble. So again, it just depends on your play style. And with Season of the Dawn, there's also Bombardier, which allows you to do, basically do an explosive charge when you dodge, which is great. It's a nasty surprise. You kind of dodge and of enemies. If you get a bunch of them at the same time, it can kind of take them out. So again, it's another option, another thing you can add to your toolkit. So one of the things that's really great with Season of Dawn, and my assumption is that they're going to continue to build on that. This this particular with the Powerful Friends, this was an addition for mobility, so it seems like it's favoring the Hunter. My guess is in future seasons, they'll do something different with the other uh, abilities, so I think you'll continue to see that build. But again, with Season of Dawn, you, with this, it allows you to be complementary, so you have infinite options all based around your class dodge ability. Because if you notice, most of the exotics I kind of land out, which are most of the really good exotics for Hunters, they're all based around your class ability. Again, personally, my favorite is the Six Coyote with Last Hope, Randy's, and Wardcliff. With that build, I can pop off shots from long distance quickly with Randy's and to compliment my teammates and dodge out of trouble if I need to, right? I can kind of get duck out of cover. Once the battle heats up, I can get up close and personal with my invisibility and use my sidearm and smoke bomb to make quick work of opponents. And then add that to Wardcliff so that, again, if I'm playing in comp, that allows me to get that one guaranteed kill in competitive matches. So again, this build really becomes a monster. I've had a ton of fun with it. So for my Hunter mains, which variant of the build do you like? How are you liking the, the changes in Season of Dawn? Head in the comments and let's talk through your builds. Maybe you have some things that I haven't thought about. Let's talk about what your favorites are. Also, for my Titan and Warlock friends, sound off as well. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of, of Hunter hate in this video. But again, I play all three, so I enjoy all those different play styles. I'll let some gameplay roll as I finish up the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, stop by and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.